Hello everyone, today we will talk about the Entity Framework process and interface DAO, which is the next topic after the generic class in the data access layer. First of all, we need an interface for each entity. These interfaces will hold entity specific methods. In the future, you may need method specific uh, to that entity. For example, you may uh, want to return the number of products. The five methods defined as generic here. This is five methods. Uh, generic here uh, are not enough for us. We need to write an external method or you may need to list categories whose category status is passive. Here again, you will need to need the uh, entity specific method. Okay. Entity specific methods are defined in the abstract folder. So this here. They inherit from the generic structure. Their names must be the same as entity. So let's create right click, add new item, interface and our interface name is i about the i is interface uh, first letter and um, dal is data access layer about this our entity okay at change to public inherit i generic dal for about entity okay this is ready. Second entity address, right click, add class uh, interface i address da. Okay, change to public, inherit i generic da for address. Good. And category, right click, add new item interface i category dal okay public and i generic dal uh, from category good next feature right click add new interface i feature dal public I generic doll for feature entity. Okay, good. And product, right click, add new. I will choose interface I, what is entity name? Uh, product, I product doll. Change to public, I generic doll and product. Okay, good. And right click, add new interface. What is interface? Review slider and social media. I review doll. Change to public. I generic doll for review. Okay. Slider and social media. I uh, slider doll public i generic doll for slider okay this is ready and finally we need social media interface new item interface i social media doll okay change to public and inherit i generic doll for social media good our entities uh, interface ready for abstract folder good and uh, and we need uh, entity framework classes there is a folder named entity framework in our data access layer this here okay 
uh, we will define a class for each of our entities in this folder. These classes will be used used to associate uh, our generic repository and interfaces with our entities. Additionally, if entity-specific methods uh, come in the feature, these classes will be used for your methods. Uh, so we need an uh, so 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 we need a class. Let's create our entity uh, class. Entity-specific methods are defined in the uh, abstract folder. Uh, entity framework methods are class uh, defined in entity framework folder. Entity-specific methods uh, they inherit from the first generic repository. Uh, second t value and third uh, inherit interface abstract DAO. okay let's create our first entity let's name it let's name it ef about doll okay ef means entity framework our naming uh, will be as follows you know uh, ef entity name and uh, DAL, DAL means data access layer, you know. Now we need to inherit again first uh, from the generic repository. Change to public and we need generic repository. Generic repository, okay. Uh, then the entity name and uh, finally the interface name. Then the name entity, our entity name is about, okay. And finally, we need interface which interface i about dal okay good the uh, reason for writing the name interface is that we will use entity specific methods methods in the feature there uh, you will understand this issue much more clearly give both me and yourself some uh, some time for this okay we need implement uh, generate constructor and our constructor is ready our class is ready okay uh, we will create other for other class class add new class our second class is address ef address uh, dal and change it to public inherit generic repository and address and finally, I address dal. Okay, we need constructor. Good. Third category, right click, add new class, EF category dal, EF category dal, change to public generic repository category and i category dal okay and we need constructor method good for feature right click add class feature ef and the framework feature dal okay change to public uh, inherit generic repository feature for feature and i feature okay and we need constructor good uh, fifth product right click add class ef product dal very important class product public public generic repository generic repository product and i product dal okay and constructor good review slider and social media add class ef review dal right click ef social media dal and finally slider right click add class 
EF slider down. We have um, eight entities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Public, generic repository, generic repository, and slider, and I slider down. Good. Okay, slider class is ready. Public, inherit generic repository, social media, and I social media doll and generate constructor okay finally final uh, class ef review doll inherit generic repository for review entity and we need i review doll okay and we need constructor for f a review ef review doll excuse me uh, F is mean Turkish, English is uh, EF. Good. Our end framework classes uh, are ready. Okay, good. Uh, thank you for watching this video. See you next lesson. Have a good day. Have a good time.